Hi, I'm Taimur. I'm gonna show you how to create smooth hover effect like this, where the whole item expands with a rolling icon animation. We're gonna use free Elementor for this, so without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Okay, so first, I'm gonna change the whole page color. And there's an efficient way to do that. Go to the page settings, go to the style, and add the background color from here. I'm gonna add the code double E F 4 F 4. We'll have this nice light color. Now let's take a container in here and I'm just gonna rename this section. First on the section, make the width 17 10 pixel. Then make the align atoms center and gaps all zero. Then scroll up, go to the advanced, make the padding 50 on the top, 20 on the right, 50 and 20 pixel. Okay, after doing the basic settings for this section, now let's start to add contents. First, I'm gonna add a heading widget. Change the text to this. Go to the style. First, make the alignment center. Then open the typography. And for the font family, I'm gonna search Antonio, this font. And this is a really cool font. Now make the size 62. And make the line height. Select the EM and type 1.2. Close it. And make the text color fully black. Okay, now go to the advanced and just on the margin bottom add 40 pixel. Okay, now after this text, let's add a container and I'm going to rename this one item. So this will be the main item we're going to animate later. And make the item width 70%, then make the direction row and justify content space between and align item center and keep the gaps 20. And go to the advanced, on the padding then 35, 10, 35, 35, and 10 pixel. Okay, now inside this, let's add a heading. And I'm going to rename this. Drivel, and go to the style. Open the topography, change the font family to sign this, and make the size 64. Font weight 400, and line height 77 pixel. Close it. Make the text color black. Okay, now after the heading, I'm going to add an icon widget. Just search icon and add this right after this. And make sure this icon is right after this heading, exactly like this, and this icon will be here. Now change the icon. So from here, I'm going to use upload SVG because I'm going to use my own SVG. And by the way, if you want to get the same icons I'm using, you can just go to jimfahaddigital.com. I'll put the link in the description and you'll get this page. From here, just click on download the resources I have used. And you'll find all the icons in the Google Drive. Okay, so from here, I'm going to select this one. It will be here. Now go to the style and keep everything as it is, but just make the size 64 and it'll be like this. Now go to the advanced and just on the margin bottom, make it minus 6 pixel. Okay, so after that, I'd actually like to add a border on this item. So we can select this item, go to the style, and under the border, we can make the border type solid, and only the border width, and on the border bottom, make it one pixel, and make the border color black color. And this will be looking like this. Nice. Okay, so we have just added one item. But before duplicating the item, I'm gonna make it fully responsive. So later, we don't have to do the double effort. Okay, so on the tablet mode, I'm going to select the item and go to the layout, make the width 100%. It'll be full width, then select this text, make the font size 56, a line height 67, and it should look good. Okay, now go to the mobile mode, and first we can select the text and decrease the font size to 38, it's perfect. And for this item, decrease the padding of this item. I'll link the padding, then 24, 10, 24, and 10 pixel. And finally select the text, decrease the font size, 24 pixel, line height, 1.5 EM, and select the icon, make it 30 pixel, and it'll be perfect. Okay, now let's go back to the desktop mode and do the main magic. Now we can just select this item and duplicate it. I need four of them, so just keep duplicating. Okay, now I'm just gonna change the content and the icon for the other ones. I'm gonna quickly do it. Okay, I have updated the text and icons. 
this is looking like this and now it's time to make the cool hover effect to add the hover effect we need some custom code to add custom code on the elementor free version we have to add the html widget right html add the widget here and in this field we gotta add the code so you can just go to the jfd website and you'll see all the code we're gonna be needing for the effect so first under the social icons animation copy all the code we can just click on this copy to clipboard and then paste the code on this field after adding that we need a class right so go back there copy this social row class and add that class on the item so I'm just gonna add the code on the first item under the advanced scroll down in the CSS classes add the class name and after adding the class name if we hover on the first one you can see this item is nicely expanding and this is so smooth right but on the other ones there is no animation yet because we have to add the same class on the other ones so let's select the item again go to the advanced add the CSS class here and this one and this one will also have the animation okay so let's do the same for the other ones add it here and on the final one add it here okay so every one of them is having the nice hover effect and now it's time to make it even cooler I'm gonna add animation on icons so go back there and copy the social hyphen icon class and add that class on icons first select this go to the advanced and paste it on the CSS classes and on the hover now this is showing a really playful animation on the icon looking great okay let's do the same for the other icons just add the class in here this one add class and last one add the class okay and now if you see all of them are having the nice thing okay now I'm gonna add the final thing I'm gonna add another effect on the items so let's go back to the JFT and if you scroll down you'll find the social icons animation JS code just copy all of them go back on the code base after this style tag after the code just add some space and add that new code and now if we hover on it you can see the item I'm hovering on is having bolder color and the rest of them is having light color you see only the active ones is getting focused all right this is so cool and also everything is fully responsive because I already made everything responsive okay okay so this is how you make cool expanding animation with a rolling icon if you like this video please leave a like share this video on social media it would mean well to me before I end just a quick note if you want to build a website faster check out kitpepper.com. It's packed with ready-to-use Elementor template kits for all kinds of businesses. You can preview everything live, see how it looks on the mobile, and there's an easy video guide to install everything in just a minute. Feel free to explore it, might save you a lot of time. That's it for today, I'll catch you on the next one.